watching our YouTube video. Um, today I'm going to do a very short video. Uh, it can be very short, uh, it also can uh, be very long. So let's do the short part first. Yeah? Um, we have launched a new uh, product which is called the uh, Beta 2.0. Uh, solar charge controller. Uh, this is a second generation 2.0. Uh, if you download the user menu uh, or you go to our website to have a look at this, uh, you will find out this is actually is a 5-in-1 uh, solar charge controller. Yeah. So why we call it 5-in-1 is because um, this controller basically is designed uh, to charge uh, 5 different kinds of uh, uh, battery. For instance, you can charge a uh, silicon acid battery. Uh, gel battery, flood battery, lithium battery, and as well as customized battery. All right. Um, as we move forward, uh, if you understand that in solar system, uh, we're gonna use a lot of uh, lithium battery, and especially in the lipo uh, lithium battery, which is uh, lithium uh, iron phosphate. Uh, battery light pole um, and I can say that um, the understanding of light pole uh, is roughly about 50% at the moment yeah everybody is very excited is because uh, at the understanding of or the potential that we use on the light pole battery uh, we at the moment only achieve about 50% and the result uh, is fantastic and then scientists around the world are uh, very very excited is because they still feel that the potential uh, you know another 50 percent uh, we can create a better uh, lithium battery and uh, you know use for our future use definitely uh, this can be a much powerful battery uh, give us more power uh, lower weight faster charging definitely will have a uh, longer cycle time maybe from 2000 to 5000 you know to even to 10000 yeah so that's why the future for uh, lithium battery uh, used in solar will, will say that it's gonna be you know fantastic yeah so that's the reason that uh, we need a new controller like the beta 2.0 uh, to do the job yeah um, this controller uh, basically you can be very simple but it also can be very complex, yeah, uh, complex. And if you download the data sheet or the user menu, uh, you will see that it actually is about uh, 50 pages. And some of you, when you see 50 pages user menu, probably you will not want to read it, yeah. But of course, um, I will try to explain the simple part, yeah. Let's say you have this, uh, you want to use it for a uh, lead. AC battery or gel battery or flood battery uh, or even lithium battery I mean it will be quite uh, straightforward uh, solar panel connect here positive negative way by identification of the solar then the battery then your DC lock yeah as simple as that yeah this is just a normal uh, controller then you have the load button here this DC load button uh, you can press it for on or press it off, yeah so this is the simple and the standard uh, kind of uh, beta charge controller yeah um, as move toward to a uh, lithium battery sometimes in these days uh, you will see all kind of uh, lithium battery in the market is because like I mentioned just now in the first part is the potential of lithium to grow is uh, quite wide and all kind of lithium battery has been uh, created there yeah, for instance uh, if you see the solar battery part 3 uh, you, you see that we use a lot of the uh, flat kind of lithium battery but of course in the market right now uh, for us in uh, solar power mark we also offer the AGM type kind of lithium battery basically is using lithium uh, lipo but when put into an AGM uh, casing, for example like this guy, uh, you can uh, you know, uh, replace your existing uh, AGM or SLA battery because the dimension is the same. Uh, so it's much easier and 
people look at it and say, hey, this is the, you know, the direct replacement for AGM and the market will be well accepted. Then of course, uh, some are built differently and this one is actually, is, uh, we call it the prismatic cell. Uh, prismatic cell are more used in uh, electrical car, all right? uh, electric bus and things like that. They like to use a prismatic cell and which is more uh, impact resistant, it's more durable and more strong. So inside here, we have four uh, prismatic cells and then put in a spatial mat uh, battery casing so that it will give you more impact resistant and of course this one is uh, very high power. Yeah, um, I like to use a word that uh, great power come with great uh, responsibility. Uh, I think that is from the Spider-Man uh, movie. Uh, why? Because I would say that uh, lithium will give you a lot of power and we need to really uh, be responsible or we need to really, really respect uh, this kind of battery. Yeah? I give you an uh, example for instance. Uh, I think right now in the market you can see uh, a lot of power bank that used to charge your smartphone, your tablet. Yeah? A, a power bank normally is roughly about 4 to 7 uh, AH and roughly about uh, 4.8 two to you know five V that kind of uh, battery but that kind of lithium battery can straight away start a car that in other words it means lithium battery is very powerful for instance another instant uh, let's say if you have a 10 AH uh, 12V lithium battery at an instant a lithium battery can give you 10 times the power which means 100 AH at one burst so that made a uh, lithium battery very powerful and also uh, very dangerous. Yeah? So compared to lead acid battery, let's say it's 100 AH, they only give you 100 AH. But for a, a LiPo 100 AH, if you do not have a proper BMS uh, to protect it, uh, it will give you 1000 AH at one burst if you're not careful. So that's why a good BMS is a prerequisite uh, for LiPo battery. Yeah? So this one with the lithium BMS, this one even with more complex uh, BMS to control each uh, prismatic cell. Yeah? So uh, let's say if you use this uh, for solar application, my recommendation is that you must have many layers of protection so that for safety reasons, like I said, great power comes with great responsibility. The first you have must have a very good uh, solar charge controller which is designed for lithium is the first requirement so that it can control the voltage, the charging current, uh, the temperature, everything uh, accordingly. And second requirement is that each of the battery, uh, LiPo battery that you have must have a BMS uh, inside there to protect it, uh, charging each cells accordingly because normally lithium battery have four cells. If one of the cells uh, it's undercharged or not charging well or something wrong, the whole system will go down. Yeah, so another BMS is very important in each of it. And the third one we always recommend in between here and here, we always recommend that you use a MCD, all right, solar MB MCD or DC MCD or a fuse in between just to protect it. If not, uh, uh, it's something that. Uh, you should consider is why because it's at least you have three layers of uh, protection so this is the part that I think you guys should consider when you start uh, using the lithium battery yeah? and in the market there are all kind of lithium, making, uh, lithium battery at the moment and especially LiPo uh, each of them have different cut off voltage uh, some charging voltage a bit different and some uh, I would say that design in the same uh, more uh, differently yeah, compared to each it's not like the AGM or SLA or gel uh, they are already in the market for quite some time um, they already have standardized a lot of things but in lithium uh, no for example the lithium that used in our notebook uh, or laptop is uh, these days actually is using 18V instead of 12V. Yeah? So I would say that all kind of 
uh, lithium battery out there so that uh, in order to charge it correctly using uh, solar, uh, you need a charge controller that is programmable. Okay? What I say is that you can program the charging voltage, the charging current as, as well as the uh, cutoff. Yeah? So if this guy actually is the next, next generation of charge controller, um, we play with PWM, we play with MPPT, yeah? I would say that now is to put those things behind because as we move forward, we need a different kind of controller. Uh, this kind of controller will be more demanding because uh, you need to program uh, the charging characteristic yeah but also called the configuration yeah so this guy is five in one um, you can like I said just now in the first part it can be very simple just plug and use uh, it can be very very complex yeah um, let's say if you use our lithium battery uh, whether it's the uh, slim type or either the AGM type or the spatial battery type we actually already uh, Designed and tested uh, with our gamma as well as beta controller and it worked well so no issue basically you can get it from us off the shelf and then start a way to do uh, the installation without money uh, without uh, many of uh, worry or things like that yeah so everything is, is gonna work well but let's say if you go and get uh, some battery uh, lithium battery doesn't from us from somewhere else and Definitely when you get the data sheet and you will see uh, some alien or something you are not comfortable uh, on the charging voltage or the cut of voltage. So uh, in that kind of uh, problem coming, you definitely need a guy like this. Because this guy, uh, you can use a remote meter like this, all right, plug in or you can uh, connect directly to uh, here and to a USB. And it comes with the uh, software. Uh, it basically, it's a monitoring software as well. Uh, you can program this guy. Uh, you can program all kind of charging characteristic, yeah. Uh, and according to the data sheet that you have. But of course, sometimes let's say if you feel uh, you're a bit uh, worry or no confidence and you probably can set it a bit lower uh, let's say for example full charge is 14.6 uh, or maybe you can charge a, uh, set it at 15.6 V instead so that you will not overcharge it but of course uh, do make sure like I mentioned just now is whatever that light, LiPo battery that you get or LPS battery that you get make sure there is also a BMS inside yeah uh, it's always not recommend to uh, using solar to charge a uh, lipo battery uh, or lithium battery without any uh, BMS because all kind of things will happen yeah? uh, that is what uh, our advice uh, to you uh, lithium battery also one thing about lithium battery is you can't uh, discharge it too low once you discharge it too low uh, you can't charge it back it's not like silly acid battery sometimes silly is already charge it too low uh, you still can revive uh, no issue with a desulfator and things like that for, but for lithium uh, this will not work so that's why most of the BMS uh, they are designed to cut off at, at V some is lowest like we have seen is at V some is 10 V and, and things like that uh, with this guy then you probably have a better insu uh, insurance or insurance uh, you can let's say you see the data sheet of, let's say this guy is uh, 8 V uh, probably you can set it at 10 V just to cut off uh, you do not want it to be over this charge, yeah. Um, I would say that to program this guy, actually, uh, you need to be understand um, the lithium battery characteristic very well. Then, in other words, that means you also uh, so called expert uh, in lithium. And to be honest, I think in Malaysia uh, that are not much that kind of people around. And let's say. If you are not that kind of person, then I would say that uh, you better get lithium battery from us directly and let us do the uh, setting for you. Uh, for instance, during uh, your ordering in uh, scoma, www.scomart.com, 
uh, during the order stage, uh, you can choose uh, what kind of lithium battery it's going to use, uh, and then uh, how you're going to use it uh, during the order stage. Uh, you can key in all this information and uh, our people here will just uh, to program this guy uh, according to your uh, application need and uh, set in some uh, requirement based on our experience in solar power especially in Malaysia we has been around quite some time now uh, and I feel that we have the confidence to understand our panel, our lithium, our own lithium battery, our controller and the load usage yeah, by doing uh, so-called our industrial knowledge, our industrial best practice knowledge. We like to use this word, the industrial best practice knowledge or what we understand on lithium battery and the solar system and uh, we can program this guy for you guys and uh, all you need is once we did that, when you receive it out of the box, uh, you just need to plug in everything uh, and then you start the system and running yeah and of course uh, this guy also comes with uh, the monitoring uh, system that means that this guy you can get all the info uh, from this guy using either the remote meter or either the software uh, connect to PC you can know the power from your panel how much is coming how much really go inside to the battery and how much really go into your load temperature, port graph, uh, do all kind of analysis. Yeah? So this second generation uh, is much much powerful than the first generation. I know a lot of you have used the first generation uh, beta. You can love it. It's because the capability to you know give you the all the crucial info on your solar system. Yeah? But when you come to the second generation, uh, even more power, even more intelligent. But of course, um, my advice is to read uh, the user manual and uh, if you do not read the user manual and give me a call, uh, I definitely would not want to entertain you. Uh, why? Because it's, uh, some of you really like to take the easier way out. Without reading the user manual, you give me a call and explain to, uh, expect me to explain everything to the phone and sometimes it took me about one hour just to talk to you guys and explain everything in detail. Um, my advice is please read the user value first, but if you still can't understand, uh, then you give me a call or drop, a e drop me an email, that would be fine. I will try my best uh, to, uh, to you know, teach you to let you understand. But again, warning to you guys, please read before you call. If you don't read and you straight away call and I definitely would not answer your question yeah because um, this I would say that is, is uh, we call it the advanced level in solar power and do need to uh, put some effort and some precaution uh, to use it yeah so um, do catch it uh, more uh, in time to come on the lithium side and I believe the LPS or the LiPo uh, will really make a difference in the solar world. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh,